Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I am going to show you how to use the new Creator Studio. You can see I'm still on the old look on Facebook, but that doesn't matter. What you want to be looking for are your publishing tools. On the new look, you're going to find them on the left hand side. On the old page, which a lot of you are still using, you're going to use the more button or you're going to look across the dashboard on the top for publishing tools. Once you click on the publishing tools, you are then going to look on the left hand side of your screen for Creator Studio. As you see, it's over here. We're going to click on Creator Studio. And in this instance, instead of me going into the Instagram mode, you see how it turned purpley pink? I'm going to stay in the Facebook mode because a lot of us are no longer able to post from our desktop um, wall on our business page. We now are being forced to use the Creator Studio. So I want to walk you through how easily to use it. We're just going to go ahead here on Facebook because the bar is blue. It indicates we're on Facebook. We're going to click create a post. From here we're going to click create a post again and it's going to open up a menu on the right hand side and what we're looking for in this case I'm going to do a photo album. I need to click on multimedia. Once I click on multimedia, I'm going to click on create a photo album. These are one of my most favorite types of posts to create. And what I've done is I've taken a whole lot of screenshots of areas in and around Toronto and it loads and opens up to what is a photo album. And now all I have to do is give the photo album a name and I'm just going to call it Discover Toronto. And I'm going to go back here to the Creator Studio. I'm going to drop the name in. And then I need to say something about this. And I'll just copy this. And go back. And what I really want to do is I also am going to add a link so it's easily able to go. I'm going to go to Bitly. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to test the link out to make sure it actually goes to the Yep, look at that. Beautiful. Right to the website, to all the listings. And I would put this in here somewhere. And a little arrow up like this. And so I'm asking people to click the link above. I would have a call to action down at the end. So I'm just going to use this. There we go. I'm going to put a location in here. And then all I have to do if I'm ready to go ahead and post this is I'm going to copy this text here and I'm going to drop it in where it says say something in each one of these boxes. And that way anytime anyone's clicking on a picture they will be able to read as well as have a link to the website and a phone number. So I've got two calls to actions. Now one of the things that I really like about the photo album is I can drag and drop these photos around. So if I want to have um, say Leslieville up at the top, I can drag it up here and I can just put them in an order that makes more sense for me, an order that I like, um, and decide which one I want to start with. And you see I'm just dragging and dropping them. And once this is finished, all I have to do is click post and then my photo album is going to be complete. Okay, so now what you're looking at here is I've gone to the new look on Facebook and there is the photo album posted. It looks really good on a mobile phone and I'm going to add a screenshot of that so you can see. And you'll notice if anyone clicks on the photo, each photo has the information in here so people can click the link and go directly to the website which is the number one goal we have um, and as well as I'm going to pop back over here and I'm going to go out of here so if I click through all of the photos you would see they could go straight to the website but what if you want to edit the photo album it's not 
the same as clicking these three dots and seeing the word edit. It doesn't work that way on a photo album. What you need to do is go into your photos, which is now found under your cover image. Uh, this photo button, if you're on the old look, will be over on the left hand side. And you click on photos and it's within the photos that you will see albums and you need to click on that photo album and it is here you will be able to edit the photo album and this is uh, it's beautiful it's really clean they've done a great great job I'm quite happy uh, with how everything looks. So this is how we do our photo album on the new Creator Studio. It's beautiful. I want you to try it and let me know how it goes. This is Heather. Remember everyone, let's keep it simple.